After a year and a half of waiting, I have finally gotten one of my most anticipated units to date. Ever since she released, I've been looking forward to her eventual global release, and unfortunately they did release her a little bit too late, because yeah, you know, all these units came out already. But that doesn't matter, because Global has finally gotten her, and I have obtained her as well, and that is Sharon. So without further ado, let's see if the wait was worth it or not. Here we are, brilliant actress Sharon. Fully kitted out, we got her max LB, full Tasmons, we got the level 4 crest on her, which is equipment CT down, and overall, man, I think she's looking good just look at it look at that artwork <laughs> i'm telling you i need to stop so sharon's entire gimmick is all about buffing up magic damage and she has a lot of ways to kind of do this we have her unique passive which gives her attack 50 percent up when hp is 80 percent or more this is very useful she has dark killer level four and all allies hp heal amount up by 20 percent her passives are okay, you know, they're not anything crazy, of course, her best one being top billing. Her skill is pretty generic, just an art gauge skill, but then we have her art. She would generate these stacks called Round of Applause, or on JP, they are known as Cheer, which increases your magic damage by 50% for every Round of Applause stack that you have. Now, this only lasts for 30 seconds, but there is a way for you to make this last longer, where we'll talk about in just a second. But as you can tell with the art, this is only applying the magic damage to herself and not to everyone else. That's where the true art comes in, is a 40,000 percent modifier and you give everybody magic damage based on your round of applause so let's say for an example if you have four round of applause stacks that equals a total of 200 percent magic damage up as soon as you use your true art you're going to give that 200 percent magic damage up to everyone else and there is no limit on this by the way as you can see it does not say there is a max you can stack this as much as you want but how do we make this more consistent? You know, I did say there's a way for you to increase your round of applause stacks. Does it involve another unit or anything else? No, it only involves her true weapon. Her true weapon here has an ability called Crowd Pleaser. When equipped by Sharon, you increase all your stats by 15% and you extend the art duration for 10 seconds. So now instead of having a 30 second round of applause, you now have a 40 second round of applause. As for her true weapon does, her true weapon is able to buff up her own damage by 50%. And if the user is a light unit, you also increase your accuracy by 30%. The increase Increased damage is definitely nice and the accuracy is kind of whatever it will come up at times but you won't really be using it for this reason you're mainly going to be using it for the built-in passive that it has because it's absolutely crazy and that's pretty much all of sharon's kit as for what equips to be running on her because you do see that i am running the equipment ct crest i don't even know if this is necessarily the best crest i would say but equipment ct attack up or art gauge up something like that and you'll probably be okay as for the equip slot I was just talking about, is that there's a few ways you can take it. I think you can either go the mono light route if you're using her on that, giving herself like the 10 cane of relief. But if you're using her on another team, you know, Fina Devil Wings, that demonic wicked globe. And then for the four star magic, I think Rosetta's Perio is one of the best things that you can put on her. Or if you just want to buff up her own damage, you know, give her something like Stigma or something else, it's also really good. But you already know what time it is, man. It's time to show off Sharon's animations and see how crazy they truly are. And of course, you know, I wanted to say I have used her, so I have seen them, so it's not like a genuine first reaction to them. As you see here, we have the attack, which is just a regular whip with her scarf. I think this is her scarf that's around her. We have her skill, which is just a double hit attack from what it looks like. With her arch, she's able to do like this crazy whip attack, and then she extends the scarf and like just goes crazy with it but we have a true art as well and her true art i don't know what it is but the way how all that is coming on screen i don't know it looks very very cool right it looks very smooth it's a very nice animation i want to say i really like it uh, to be honest i like this true art a lot more than something like iris true art because iris is just like a black dash and then like a dash forward or not really a dash forward but like she just slices forward i like this you know she's spinning she's twirling the whole time and then everything's coming on screen and it looks really really cool so in that regard i'm going to give him about an 8.5 out of 10 very nice looking animations as for what exactly we're going to be doing today with her is that we're mainly going to be using her of course on just a random team to see how how well that she does damage wise in buffing up other characters and also seeing her own damage potential so we're just gonna go into the takedown battle real quick and see the main comparison i know that a lot of people are making is why would you use sharon when lucy is out which is very true because sharon and lucy are very similar in the sense that they both buff up magic damage except with lucy she can only buff up a hundred percent of magic damage as for sharon she can buff it up as much as she wants but as you can see here it's very simple to play her only thing you're going to be doing is popping your art every single time that you get it whenever you're using a team that has a good amount of arch generators more than likely two for this example Example, we're using something like judo and something like mako to generate arts for the team and as you see here we're already at two stacks of round of applause so if i would pop the true art right now this is what lucy would give the entire team in terms of magic damage but we're not going to do that yet as you see we have another one that's 150 
percent and one thing i would really like is that if we saw like a timer of some kind on each of them so like we knew exactly how much they were ticking down to get an idea of like hey you know when am i going to need to pop this and when am i not going to need to pop it so as you see here we have a ton of round of applause stacks now i would say the best thing is trying to get at least four of them off and then using your true art but in this situation this is against the course of takedown battle so we're just going to do it as we please now Here's the thing, we're gonna pop her art and we're gonna pop this and we're also gonna pop the true art here and we're gonna pop that, that, and this so we get the crits and let's see how much damage that she actually dealt to the boss plus Juno as well. And let me just say that people were saying her damage is underwhelming, which granted this is against a takedown battle, but I'm gonna be honest with you, she didn't look that bad because if we see here, if it's like earlier, whenever I tested her out, she be keeping up with Juno. Granted, this is an incredibly stacked team, right? Uh, we're having so much archgen on the team, but a lot of people was calling her own damage underwhelming granted you have to stack for it but i wouldn't say six million is underwhelming by any means and at the same time mind you this unit is not just a damage dealer she's also applying her damage buff or her stacking buff to everyone else this is one thing that i really like about sharon i wish there was a raid or something out at the moment so i could show you her in that because that would be a lot better since the fights are a lot longer the hp pools for the bosses are a lot higher to give you an idea of exactly how well you know that would go but let's take her into like an actual fight this time we're going to be going up against the temple of heavenly light there's nothing else really here i wish there was but there's nothing that like that's more of that like sustained type of content if i actually had miranda i would have probably tried taking her up against like vits to see how well that is but unfortunately i don't have miranda i could use thetis but um yeah i'm not trying to get stressed out right now but as someone who waited for her how do i feel about her do i think that she was worth the wait do i think it was whatever how am i vibing with this character so far and to be honest with you i think it's gonna be kind of hard to fit her into some team comps just because like there's just so many units you want to use especially if you're using someone with juno because with juno you're definitely going to want to use mako most of the time right if you have her also you're probably going to want to slot in elisa and then in most situations you may actually want to use something like lucy if you actually have her because that's just more archgen for everybody or possibly miranda that's another thing too it's like well why would i use sharon whenever i could just use miranda which gives me a tanking unit that can also do this ramping type of attacks hey man i think it's more so just picking your poison right whatever you want since we have so many ramping magic damage dealers now like we even have one that's stronger than of course sharon which is water juno but of course you don't always want to use those characters and maybe you can't use them all the time so i mean i don't know i, I like sharon personally i like her look at all those juicy stacks sharon has at the moment jesus and she, we're about to give that to the entire team by the way as you see right here we're going to pop our true art and let's see how much oh my god dude she popped the freaking barrier okay well it's still fine we're gonna have the magic damage buff for everybody else as you see there 400 and 15,000 per tick, I think that would, on Juno's true art. I think her and Juno are a match made in heaven. Yeah, you know, in that situation right there, she's not doing the most damage, and she's not keeping up with Juno at all because her true art got negated due to iframes. You gotta love this game. But still, she did what she was wanting to do. He buffed up Juno. Did it take a little bit longer than it needed to? Yeah, but that's just because I wanted to give as many stacks as possible. And mind you, by the way, I know I'm using her with Juno. That's just because she is the most known magic damage dealer that everybody, of course, uses, or most people use if you have her. I would actually show her off against some other things, but I've already used up all my runs, and I would, like, show her off using her as, like, kind the main damage dealer and stuff but to be honest i think what we showed off already was a pretty good showcase of her she's a cool ramping magic damage dealer that i think will be used alongside some other magic damage buffers during raids and stuff like that if you can slot her in of course using her alongside other characters sh should work because people are asking me would her magic damage buffing stack with someone like miranda's and i actually think that it will because her magic damage instance buff is not actually considered i think a magic damage buff since it's considered a round of applause so it should stack with every other magic damage buff in the game of course i don't know for sure about that but i would just assume that but either way though fam that's gonna be it for this video sorry for the wait on this one i was actually gonna post this on saturday but wind up not actually getting the lb stones that i needed uh, until like really late at night so i was like yeah i just won't post at all on saturday i'll just wait till monday to post this up but either way though we finally got it you guys saw sharon all of her glory tell me how you guys feel about her if you've been using her do you like her do you not you know what's the deal but thank you all again for coming out it's been your boy op if you enjoyed this grand summers video i highly recommend you check out either one of the grand summers videos popping up on your screen right now highly entertaining content guarantee you'll love them and oh yeah before you leave don't forget to drink water